So today we will start with uh, AWS S3 encryption. What is encryption? How AWS do encryption for you? What are the charge associated with that encryption? We will understand that. Okay. That's our today's topic. okay now before going in depth in s3 encryption what is generally encryption means we have talked about a little bit on encryption but what is in general encryption means to you and where the encryption can be uh, can be done what is your encryption are you using encryption on your daily basis are you implementing encryption are you uh, communicating in encryption encrypted way mm -hmm. okay okay only it is implemented on uh, a file level only on data means file mm -hmm. Agree. anything on the day uh, related to data irrespective of uh, it's a file or it's a so let's take example this is simple message we are learning okay now every encryption required a key let's say right now I am using triple A now give me an example where the most import it is most important to encrypt a message or uh, text One of the important uh, in general in real practical world you might have seen uh, encryption you might have seen in uh, when army communicates with each other they do encrypt their messages they do uh, dig sometime they encrypt sometime they rephrase the message so in the movies you might have seen they use some uh, different language or different uh, paraphrase to communicate their messages right but in general this is how the uh, encryption happen so let's say the key is there so in real right now there are n number of encryption way uh, here i'm just doing a very simple encryption where double a the, the key is been added after each letter after each letter i am adding the key so what is my key it's triple a and I am just adding after each letter there are n number of ways which through which the encryption can be done so I'm just adding triple a or the key of the encryption after each letter So can you now read the message if you receive this type of information if this type of text to you will you able to understand what is written in the message something like this 
anybody can understand this what is written here you will say this is a junk character right this is a junk file until unless you know the key so here if you have encrypted your data what is the important thing which is now required with this data to pass a key to have a key on the receiver side if receiver doesn't have the key will they or she will able to decrypt the message as well as the algorithm which is used to encrypt this in this data am i clear now if you have the encryption if you know the encryption uh, algorithm as well as the key you will able to decrypt this message simple in movies you might have seen there are men they are using so many tools to decrypt the encrypted message right similar happens in your data as well so any communication happening it should be encrypted any data you are keeping it should be encrypted it must i'm not using must word it should be it's good to have if it's your choice it's your data that you want to encrypt or not but it is it should be encrypted now let's understand some way that you should encrypt the data in the with a example and i will take example of money right now each data is some or some or related to money right now this data is quite related to money let's say you have a bank and you want to deposit your money to the bank right now right now money is with you now who is responsible for carrying security of this money who is responsible for security of this money right now it's with you is bank responsible for providing security of the money or you are the person who is responsible for the money with which is with you right now at your home who needs to provide the security to this money quickly you have a money with you in a suitcase right now who is responsible for providing the security to this, this money call responsible hai? bank or individual person right individual person now you want to deposit this money to a secure authorization or an institute which is quite um, expert in providing the uh, money security you want to hand over this money to a institute which is more ex have a expertise in handling the money or providing a security to the money but to take the money from this point at your home to till bank who is still responsible for the uh, security of the money right now you have to deposit this money to the bank right so from your home you have to travel let's say 5 kilometers to go to the bank who is responsible you have to take turns you have to take a, a stop at a signal you have to pass a market and so on so who is still responsible for the money bank or you or individual person still you still the person who owns the money so at home you are the owner of the money you are the responsible to make the uh, provide the security to the money if you are in transition to the bank if you are moving your money and depositing in the bank in between the transition happens you are the person who is responsible to take their take care of the money or provide the security to the money right this is called in transition in transit first case is is 
money is at your home so if it's at your home it's your responsibility to provide the security if your money is from uh, moving from one place to another it's your responsibility to take care got it two scenario third scenario now you have deposit the money to the bank now you have deposit the money to the bank now it's bank the responsibility to take care of your money agree now understand how bank will take care of your money we have three scenarios first one simple first scenario you just deposit the money to the bank now you are not at all bother about how bank is keeping your money they are keeping openly in their office they are keeping the uh, money in a locker they are keeping the money in a vault you are not at all bother about that you are just going to the bank deposit the money and you are just saying that my money is secure now tomorrow if i want the money bank should return the money that's it i'm not at all bother how bank is uh, saving or securing the money clear agree you just go and deposit the money that's it we do that thing right uh, did you ever ask the bank when you deposit your money how you are there how they are uh, protecting your money you just go and register your bank account nowadays and that's it nowadays there is a digital system game in the market but if it's a physical that this is your money this is the uh, 10 notes you have deposit to the bank and th that will be returned to you again if you want to deposit the same 10 note okay that previously it used to happen agree so you are not bother about you are just uh, trusting the bank that they will handle everything this is the first scenario you don't you, you do not bother about anything you just uh what do you say you just uh, trust your bank and whatever the action taken by the bank they will do that you are not at all bother about how the bank will save your money and how they will make sure everything is good you are not at all bother about it second scenario how many of you have used bank's locker you might have used bank lockers yes no oh, why you are using bank lockers basically you want to store something and you want to take some responsibility in that so what bank does they provide they provide a locker and in the locker they share the responsibility with you that they create a key for you and they have their own key right in banks this is a scenario so basically they provide you a key which is again generated by bank huh? you don't know how bank is creating the key but they are providing a key and in this you have to maintain the key without this key you will not able to access your money or your locker agree this is a scenario this happens in the second scenario if you lose the key will you able to access your locker no right but who provided you the key again you have the bank has provided the key let's say bank has a person who generates the key okay key maker is sitting at the bank okay you can purchase the key from this person he is responsible for creating the key of the lockers 
this is where you take the responsibility of the key and without this key you aren't able to access simple third scenario you bring your vault completely and deposit to the bank you bring your suitcase you bring your suitcase and hand over to the bank bank doesn't know what is the key of the suitcase bank doesn't provide the key of the suitcase that you're just hand over the key to the to the bank that's it keep this suitcase with you what type of protection just protect the dead uh, suitcase inside the suitcase you don't have to worry bank doesn't have to worry about the key bank doesn't have to worry about everything will be done by bank uh, will be you are the main person who has created the vault you have the key bank doesn't know what's the key what's inside this locker how this locker is created who has created the locker what is the key of this locker bank doesn't know bank just keep the vault as it is with them are we clear with the three scenarios let's now go to the actual ppt actual now replace money with the data so encryption in s3 so this is your s3 bucket this is your local laptop so i will broadly divide the transition uh, the data in two segments data is with you data is in s3 in the cloud now if the data is with you in your local system who is responsible for the data who is responsible for the encryption who is for responsible for the complete security you or the uh, aws if the data is at on premise in your in your computer in company's data center who is responsible cloud or the company or basically individual person but you are the uh, uh, responsible right yes or no quickly yes. now what do you do, generally do you upload your data to s3 agree you transit your data to s3 to be precise it is called in transition it is called in transition now if you are moving your data from your on premise to cloud you are moving your data there might be cyber attack happen on your data there might be a data leakage there might be some way that the hackers is trying to steal your data right when you are uploading your data you have might have seen in movies this type of that whenever some somebody is doing some transaction somebody is doing uh, uploading some data or downloading some data third party hacks their uh, transmission and they get the same copy of that information right so this is called in transition so to make it secure what amazon says that whenever you are uploading your data what type of protocol it is using h t t p s right whenever you are communicating with aws what protocol you are using https https is already secure it's highly secure protocol so no third party will able to hack your transition it comes with ssl and tsl certificates okay which are mold they are highly secure so what is the ssl and tsl secure socket layer okay and tsl certificate so tsl transport layer certificates okay so this by default your https comes with this protocol this certificate which are highly secure nobody will able to uh, decrypt your data if you are transmitting your data on https protocol by default it encrypt your data and it is highly secure and nobody will able to decrypt it and that's why amazon is forcing http uh, any transaction any uh, communication to be happen on https protocol so first part is done moving 
the critical part is moving the data from one point to another at this time the hackers can hack your data but by using HTTPS protocol and SSL and TSL certificates it's secure so the major thing is done now to understand the how Amazon encrypt your data okay so at rest at rest so now the second terminology it at rest now if you have upload your data now okay so there are two scenarios either you encrypt your data at your own point and upload to s3 or you can ask amazon to encrypt the data for you let's first understand the first this scenario client side encryption what is my client side encryption it's, it basically means the third scenario uh, the scenario where you encrypt the data completely at your own side you encrypt the data at your side and then upload the data to s3 just like this scenario which we have covered right now this is a text message but you have encrypted and save it in this format and then upload the data amazon doesn't know that you have encrypted or not you're just encrypting at your end and uploading it that's a client side encryption right clear what is mean by client side encryption <laughs> now let me know what your thought on this if you do encryption do you require some machine do you require some computing power do you require resources or do you have to spend the money to encrypt the data yes or no if you are encrypting the data at your own premise do you have to spend the money to encrypt it yes no agar aap yahan pe kuch bhi process kar rahe ho what do you think if you are encrypting the data will it require machine will it require some processing and if it's a hundreds of gbs of data on a daily basis will you able to do that encryption at your own premise yes or no you can do it but is it free or it's come with a huge computing power tell me am i audible so if you are encrypting your data at your own premise do you think it's free you required computing right you required some processing to encrypt it and then it will be uploaded to s3 so so amazon is providing you encryption at free of cost amazon will do the encryption process for you at free of cost you can keep unlimited amount of data all the data can be encrypted for free the process to encrypt the data is been bared by amazon the cost to encrypt the data is bared by amazon you don't have to pay a single penny so all the data which is kept in s3 can be encrypted again can be encrypted and it is free of cost so you don't have to encrypt your data on premise okay now it's your choice do you want to encrypt the data at your premise or not i'm not saying that you don't if you have a sensitive data if you have a, a crucial data you should encrypt and upload to s3 okay now it's your and company's choice do you want to use s3 encryption or do you want to use client side encryption so the term is server side encryption basically means you are uploading your data to s3 and there the encry encryption will take place that's called server side encryption client side encryp encryption means for amazon you are the client you are doing the encryption at your end and then uploading the data are we clear with the two terminologies here what is different between server side and the client side client side again you are doing the encryption at your end 
and then uploading the data server side you are asking amazon s3 to encrypt the data for you it's called server side encryption s s e s s e this called server side encryption here majorly we have three type of encryption all revolve around the keys which we have talked about in the locker example but are we clear right now the two terminologies client side and server side encryption okay uh, now the first is yeah hmm. see the moment we we are posting our uh, website on http2 links informally it by default means that the data whatever we are communicating is sharing or whatever we are doing it's it's to a by default we don't do any processing of that okay so So, okay. So, hosting a website is done after you have uploaded the data, right, Priyanka? No. But I'm talk. I'm not uploading the data right now. I'm in the process to upload the data. Point number one. So anything, anything you are putting in S3, do you want the data to be encrypted or not? Hmm. Anything you are uploading, you no. That's like the money which you are depositing to the bank. Do do you want the uh, protection or not? After that, bank how it's using that money, you don't are bother about it. Second thing, you are bother about by taking the locker. That's the scenario which I have cre created, right? So the first scenario. So th this is cli client side encryption. Basically, you are encrypting your data. You are using some algorithm, and then you are uploading to S3 and keeping the copy in S3, right? In this case, Amazon doesn't know what is the encryption key. They will not able to help you out with the decryption if you lose the key, right? And you have to download the data and then decrypt it to your local again. In this scenario, clients and encryption means. Whenever you are using the data, you have to download the data again on the own premise and then decrypt it. decryption should happen right but server side is basically handled by amazon so the data which is uploaded to s3 will be encrypted and when you ask the amazon that data amazon will decrypt the data for you and then it will return to you so basically when the data is stored in the servers when the data is stored on the data center of amazon they will store in encrypted way if you want okay why let's say tomorrow amazon is giving 100% guarantee that the they have a huge security but cyber attack happens security breach happens in this scenario if your data is exposed to the hackers still they will not able to understand what is written in that data simple but the data is with amazon right now in amazon data center so do you want to encrypt the data or not question number 1 ideally yes you should or you should not it's your choice okay now who will do the encryption on the data the data is in amazon as uh, amazon data center or do you want to uh, use some ma machine and put the data into uh, uh, amazon s3 data center using some tool or you want amazon to do everything so amazon said that he, they will do everything to encrypt your data and decrypt as well they are not charging any single penny because to encrypt a data it required machine it required processing power right but amazon is giving free for you completely free you can encrypt the data you can encrypt and decrypt n number of data now scenario is that do you want complete s3 to control the encryption or do you want to participate something in that that's the three scenarios for the scenarios just like keeping a uh, money in the bank do you want to participate or do you want to handle uh, let bank handle your money 
So we have seen three scenarios, right? You have completely touched the bank, you have the key and there is some called vault system. Now understand the three scenarios here as well. So first scenario, now everything here is about the key. S3 manage key, okay, AWS manage key and server side encryption customer manage provided key. Now first understand the S3 manage key. Now in each account, okay, Amazon has created a default key or you can say Amazon has the key to encrypt the data. You are not at all owner of the key. Okay, you have Amazon ha has created some default key. Amazon manages that key. Amazon uses that key to encrypt your data. So you don't have the ownership. You are not doing anything about the key. You are just saying that uh, I have uploaded this data to S3 bucket. This is my bucket. Use your key and encrypt the data. That's it. I'm not rather at all bother about it. Okay, whenever I require the data, just decrypt it. What type of key you are using, I am not at all bother about it. What is the life cycle of the key, I am not bother about it. Uh, what is the encryption methodology you are using, I am not bother about it. What type of key generation, key also has some algorithms to generate it. Symmetric, asymmetric and there are some other algorithms, I am not bother about. This is my data, just encrypt it. That is called server side encryption. S3 manage key, SSE S3, clear? So I will show you how you can do that, one by one. So you can go to your S3, go to your bucket, just upload the data. Upload any file and if you scroll down to the properties, that is called server side encryption. Okay, do not specify the encryption or specify the encryption. So, if you are not en allowing encryption, so you can see right bucket setting for default encryption are used to encrypt the object when storing in S3. If you have enabled anything on bucket level, then bucket encryption will take place. Otherwise, there will be no encryption on your file. You are just uploading a plain data. You are just uploading a plain file and it is stored without encryption. If you are specifying here, specifying an encryption key. Okay. So, server side encryption, just override right now. Okay. Don't use bucket. Server side encryption with S3 manage key, SSE S3. So basically, you are saying that use Amazon key and upload the data. That's it. So, what you have to do? Just click on specify the key, override the permissions, and use SSE S3 and just upload. So, the file which we have uploaded just now this one if you scroll down a little you will see the encryption as server side encryption with s3 manage key who is managing the key encryption key amazon just like this key just we have created the key it's important right who is managing this key amazon s3 that is S3 managed key. Simple. So, what is the life cycle of this key? I don't know. It is available for all the account by default. SSE S3. Okay. For all the account, SSE S3 is a default key. This will be different key for each account. Huh? Behind the scene, this is a different key for each account, but it is a default key. Amazon will create a key for you by default. Whenever you create an account, the key will be created for you, a separate key. 
but that key will be managed by Amazon. Now, if let's say this key is exposed to the world, so it's Amazon responsibility to change your encryption method and for the data which is which was used by this key. You don't have to bother about anything. That's it. Right? Do you have to change the key? Do you have to destroy the key? You don't have to bother about it and at all. Clear? You just want your data to be available when you ask from Amazon and that is in de decrypted format. Clear? Yes or no? So when you open this file now, so Amazon will decrypt that data. Now if you here see this so much information is written in the URL, basically it will decrypt the data. Clear? Second scenario, SSC KMS, okay. Amazon Key Management Service, Amazon Man, uh, or Customer Manage Key or Customer Manage Key. So, in the bank scenario, if you remember, there is an option called where you can have a key, right? You can have one key with you. It was created by the bank, but you have to manage the key, right? That's called KMS. Now, KMS is a service altogether, key management service. This is another service. If you go here, Amazon manage key. Can you see here? If you right now see, this is the key which we use just now. This is key generated for you. This is the key generated for you by S3 when you are using S3 manage key. Agar aap S3 manage key use karo to ye key use ho rahi hai behind the scene. Amazon managed key. These are the list of keys which are generated by you by Amazon for you. Okay, data encrypt ho raha hai in keys se. Simple. Now what is there inside the key if you want? There are some cryptographic encryption is there which will be used to encrypt your data. It is a asymmetric key. Okay. If you have to read information about keys, so you can go ahead and read it about the purpose of the key. There are so many algorithms, how the encryption is done. It's a lot of information is there. But a simple way, there is a key which is used to encrypt your data and it is generated by Amazon for you. Okay, this is Amazon manage key for S3 bucket. Second is customer manage key. Now here, you don't want to use Amazon key. You don't want to use Amazon provided key. You want to create your own key. You can create the key from here. Symmetric, asymmetric, encrypted, single verification. There are so many options are available. Advanced settings is also available. So, if your company, let's say your company wants that, uh, please don't use Amazon key, let's create their own key. So, there are multiple options that what type of algorithm usage do you want to require in your key, you can create the key accordingly. Now, the catch is here is that you are the owner of the key, okay? You have to maintain the life cycle of the key. If you delete this key or if you lose this key, the data which is rest, which you have encrypted with the, this key, will you will not able to decrypt it again. Agar aapne key delete kar di ya kho di, ya ye corrupt ho gayi, kuch bhi hua. So you will not able to decrypt your data again. You will not able to fetch your data again. Okay? You have to be owner of this key. You have to maintain this key. You have have the life cycle of this key everything is maintained by you but this key is generated in AWS itself clear ye ki amazon mein aap bana sakte ho so in many cases in companies uh, we are creating a custom key or customer manage key and it is stored in the amazon account okay and we are using this key to encrypt our data now caveat is that this key is chargeable, one key per month, one dollar, okay, KMS key charges, so 
सो अगर आप की बना रहे हो तो दिस इज अर्ज वन की वन डॉलर पर मंथ एंड इट्स नॉट इन फ्री टायर ओके इट्स नॉट इन फ्री टायर सो यू कैन क्रिएट योर कस्टम की एंड यू कैन यूज इट सो इट इज कॉल्ड Amazon की मैनेजमेंट सर्विस मैनेज की और एस एस सी के एम एस की मैनेजमेंट सर्विस द की इज फ्रॉम कस्टमर एंड इट इज क्रिएटेड इन के एम एस की मैनेजमेंट सर्विस एस एस सी के एम एस क्लियर हुआ यह चीज आई एम गोइंग वेरी स्लो फर्स्ट इज एमेजोन विल क्रिएट अ की सेकेंड इज यू विल क्रिएट अ की इन एमेजोन कंसोल and you will let give that key to s3 so go to your bucket upload the data upload any file again go to the property go to the specification specify a encryption key override and you will see the second option ssc kms now here as soon as click on here you can see there are two option kms keys if you have any kms key with you use it so by default it will show the amazon key only if you don't have the key agar aapne key banayi hai yahan pe so it it will show that your key otherwise it will again will show aws s3 amazon key same key which is provided by amazon okay if you are uh, encrypting with it it will encrypt the data with your key just pass you the key which is been generated by you you can see something this this will will show you okay this is this object is encrypted with below key this is the key number that's it now if you go here right now it's the same key which is provided by amazon if you compare the number 586 f 586 f but right ideally you should provide your own custom key here clear yes or no i am not creating a key because it's chargeable it's not coming in free tier you if you want you want to spend 1 dollar per month you can do that the soon you create the key you will be charged 1 dollar okay samajh aaya second scenario third scenario server side encryption with customer provided key now you are saying that okay encryption will done by aws the keys i don't want to you key provide i don't want to use the key amazon is providing i don't want to create a key in aws i will create the key at my home and i will use it use that key i will pass that key to amazon and will ask them to use the key okay the encryption key so in server side encryption if i want to explain you in a nutshell is basically encryption is done by amazon and the major part is who will manage the key do you want amazon to manage the key that is server side s3 do you want to create a key in amazon and manage the key in amazon console that is called server side encryption kms ssc kms and third is do you want to create the key at your home at your on premise and after creating the key you can give that key to aws to encrypt the data using that particular key that is called customer provided key ssc s uh, sccc there are three type of encryption but here all the encryption is done by amazon the only thing is who is creating the key clear question that's it so in console directly you can't use ssc uh, sscc to encrypt the data if you click here 
override mm. i think they have changed it okay they have introduced something as called des now SSCC customer provided key yes okay so when you uh, it is not supported by console nowadays if you want to upload the data using customer provided key you have to use backend a programmatic way okay you can't upload that in here using console question please let me know if you have any question yes now remember when we created the bucket previously your bucket by default there was no encryption so this is my bucket if you go to the property you can see default encryption if I click here, I can disable uh, the bucket encryption. Okay, nowadays by default your bucket has the encryption here. So if you are not providing any encryption to the object while uploading it to S3, okay, so still it will be having a default encryption which is defined by you. So now if you are creating a bucket so you can see there is an option called hmm. 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 no that is I am saying so previously it was an option ok before 20 uh, 22 mid of 22 they have come up with this thing that that if you are creating a bucket by default a uh, encryption should be there in the bucket ok before that there was no hardcore encryption is implemented means if you are uploading the data to S3 it, it can be without encryption it could be without encryption but after 2022 mid of that if you are creating a bucket you have to provide a encryption type either SSC S3, KMS or a new, this is a new one, dual layer, ok. So if you are not now in this case, if you are uploading an object in S3, that means by default encryption will be there, right. If you are not providing any encryption, bucket level encryption will happen. If you are providing encryption methodology, means a KMS or non KMS, so that, that means that type of encryption will be de deployed on your bucket or or your object. So you might find in your company there are some buckets which are without encryption by default. If you are, they are created well before 2022. They, so in that case you have to upload the object and specify the encryption key. Clear? Any question on encryption? Simple or tough? Hai? I try to make it simple, but I don't know. Is it clear to know? So, in a broad way, when you are uploading your data, that time it is called in transition. You have to make sure that your data is encrypted in that case. But as we are using HTTPS protocol, it is highly secure to transfer your data over the internet. Now, if your data is already uploaded to S3, it is called at rest ok we have two scenarios do you want to encrypt your data at your home at your own premise then it is called client side encryption you are encrypting data at your end and uh, you do not want to use S3 encryption or do you want S3 to encrypt your data for you that is called server side encryption you want servers to be to encrypt your data so here we have three types of keys 
service uh, s3 manage key the keys are totally managed by amazon second you can create your custom key in amazon console it is a chargeable key and you can use that key to encrypt your data here the key management is completely your responsibility how uh, key life cycle key rotation everything is be managed by you it is called ssc kms and third is you create the key at your on premise you are creating the key not you are encrypting you are not encrypting the data you are creating the key the key is encrypt uh, created at your premise or you are providing the key to amazon and amazon will use that key to encrypt your data now this is very re less in general use or until unless you have a very specific requirement very sensitive very very sensitive data why this third option is given because in this case amazon is not at all aware about the key the key is provided by you and amazon will just use that key as it is clear this is the scenarios now so this is the example of request to upload the data in s3 without encryption so this is a http request something like this put the file this is the file mm -hmm. okay so this uh, you are uploading a file in s3 okay this is a text file and you are uploading that file in this bucket so this is something behind the scene when you are uploading the data look like this to upload an object in s3 you use put request regardless of you are calling through cli console or sdk the put request looks similar to this put this file in s3 bucket okay uh, this is a date authorization okay there is some authorization will be there then this file type size of the file owner of the file and some other information right this is a simple put request http request simple so if you want that amazon to encrypt the data that you should pass some parameter right here does amazon know that do you want to encrypt or not did you pass any encryption method amazon ko kaise pata chalega file ko encrypt karna hai nahi karna jab hum console mein upload kar rahe hai to hum click karte hai na button ko tabhi to usko pata chalta hai ki encrypt karna hai when we are uploading the file that time we we are passing that parameter extra right going and property and setting this thing when we are setting that means we are passing some extra parameter otherwise its default parameters are going so that if you see here in the next ppt to encrypt an object at the time of upload you need to add an extra header extra parameter it is called server side encryption x amz server side encryption to the request to tell s3 to encrypt your object using sscc ssc s3 or kms the following code show the put object okay so you can see here this is a extra parameter you have to pass okay for ssc you have to pass as256 for kms you have to pass the value as aws kms so right now if you are using console if you are clicking here if you are clicking this by default this value will be selected upload karte waqt ye select ho jati console se kar raha hu na you are using console so, but if you are using programmatic way so you have to pass this value but after request is generated this is something a snippet will look like so sir so how amazon will know by if you are passing this parameter s3 will know that you want to encrypt this object using ssc s3 because this is the value for ssc s3 what is the value 
X Amazon server side encryption AES-256 AES-256 for SSC S3 and for KMS X Amazon server side encryption AW KMS you have to pass this value if you are passing this Amazon will know that you want to encrypt the object either with given key that's it so now you are using console so if you are selecting SSE so as soon as you select this uh, extra header extra parameter is added in your request you are generating a request right as soon as you click on the upload button upload button it will create a put request for you behind the scene agree question let me know the questions clear over yes or no yes or no guys encryption clear over Now, let me know in your bucket, how many people are using this bucket in your company? In your company, if you have a hundred people, there might be hundred people using this bucket. Yes. And your company got a government uh, norm that the data which is your which you are uploading in this bucket should be encrypted by default what do you will do now amazon has given a option that go to the bucket property itself and enable the encryption now amazon has given the option that bucket encryption will be there so if the users are not providing any encryption still your data will be encrypted by default encryption now before this option was available what you will do let's say this option is not there so means there are chances that you if you upload the data and if your user is not specifying any encryption that means the data which is uploaded to s3 is without encrypted now what is bolto let's say there is no default encryption on the bucket that means if a user is uploading the data and he or she is not specifying any encryption that means the object is without encrypt stored in S3 without encryption and in your company there is a government policy or there is a federation rule that the data which you are storing in cloud should be encrypted let's say there is a new employee in your company take example you have a new employee in your company that person was not aware of this norm and he has uploaded the data in s3 without encryption and after one month a audit happened in your company and they found out there are a couple of object without encryption who is responsible here the person or the company who will be get fi fine who will be getting notice company or person who has to take responsible for encryption the person or the company bataiye samajh aaya ek company hai ek company hai jo jahan pe a cloud use ho गवर्नमेंट ने बोला है कि सारे के सारा डेटा जो भी आप क्लाउड पर रखोगे एनक्रिप्टेड होना चाहिए राइट right? आपने बकेट बना रखी है 
और अभी उस पर डिफॉल्ट इंक्रिप्शन कुछ भी नहीं है आपने अपने एम्प्लॉय को बोल रखा है कि जो भी डेटा अपलोड करो वो इंक्रिप्ट करके रखना ओके आज से सारे एम्प्लॉयज ने डेटा इंक्रिप्ट करके रख दिया और जितना डेटा था पहले वो भी इंक्रिप्ट कर दिया ठीक है अभी नया बंदा ज्वाइन हुआ उसको ये नॉर्म्स पता ही नहीं है उसने विदाउट इंक्रिप्शन अपलोड कर दिया और आपने डिफॉल्ट इंक्रिप्शन भी अनेबल नहीं किया था या ऑप्शन ही नहीं अभी तो क्या होगा डेटा अपलोड हो जाएगा इस थ्री में विदाउट इंक्रिप्शन राइट कोई अब कल को ऑडिट होता है और ये फाइल्स मिलती हैं बिना इंक्रिप्टेड के तो किसको फाइन लगेगा एम्प्लॉय को या गवर्नमेंट कंपनी को हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल सिंपल सो हाउ कैन आई मेक श्योर दैट ईच एंड एवरी फाइल अपलोडेड इन एस थ्री इज हैविंग एंक्रिप्शन अनेबल्ड अभी अब नाउ आई हैव टू ऑप्शन प्रीवियसली एक ही ऑप्शन था नाउ यू हैव वन ऑप्शन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन अनेबल डिफॉल्ट एंक्रिप्शन यहाँ पे आओ और डिफॉल्ट एंक्रिप्शन अनेबल कर दो मतलब अगर यूजर अपलोड करते हुए एंक्रिप्शन नहीं बताता तो बकेट पे जो एंक्रिप्शन लगी हुई है वो एंक्रिप्शन हो जाएगी क्लियर बट दिस इज फॉर द बकेट्स विच आर क्रिएटेड आफ्टर 2000 ठीक है तो अब ये देखो मेरे बकेट है तीन साल पुरानी है लेट्स से बकेट ऑप्शन है क्या देखो यहाँ पे आपको दिखेगा ही नहीं इफ यू सी यर डिफॉल्ट एंक्रिप्शन ओके डाल दिया उन्होंने so all the bucket now default encryption is there hmm so s3 is automatically applied to new object stored in bucket new object huh? the object which are older than this no okay so har bucket pe unhone default encryption dal diya abhi ssc s3 dal diye right apart from this if i want to make sure that the person should upload the file with encryption i can do one more method is called bucket property go to bucket proper uh, bucket policy my bad bucket policy bucket policy kya karta hai so whenever you uploading any file okay this policy will check the rules which you have written here yahan pe aap rule likh sakte ho okay and that rule will be applied to the object which you are uploading okay basically you are setting a security guard on your s3 bucket using a bucket policy samajh aaya bucket policy kya hota hai bucket policy is acting as like act a security guard for your bucket so here you can generate a policy and in policy you can specify that if a user is uploading a file without encryption parameter then reject that file सिंपल समझ आया आई एम सेइंग रिजेक्ट दैट फाइल मेरे को चाहिए ही नहीं अगर यूजर को पता ही नहीं है कि अपलोड करना है तो रिजेक्ट कर दो मैं अपलोड करना ही नहीं देना चाह रहा मैं बोल ही नहीं रहा डिफॉल्ट एंक्रिप्शन पे जाओ यूजर को बताना है कि एंक्रिप्शन कौन सा चाहिए एस चाहिए या के चाहिए अदरवाइज रिजेक्ट दैट फाइल समझ आया आदर दे हैव टू पास दिस वैल्यू और दिस वैल्यू इट्स योर चॉइस मीन्स अदरवाइज डोंट अपलोड द फाइल हु विल चेक बकेट पॉलिसी इट एक्ट एज अ सिक्योरिटी गार्ड फॉर योर योर बकेट हर बकेट में बकेट पॉलिसी होती है समझ आया ये सुनो सो बकेट पॉलिसी कैसे दिखती है आपके उसमें असाइनमेंट आपके उसमें है सो गो यकेट पॉलिसी फॉर एस थ्री इंक्रिप्शन कैन यू सी नाउ अगेन दिस टेम्पलेट ऑफ द बकेट इज सेम वर्जन एंड आई डीज आर डिफॉल्ट ये रहते रहते ओके नाउ दिस इज अ स्टेटमेंट मोर ओवर यू टू फोकस ऑन दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू यू वॉन्ट टू डिनाई मैंने बोला ना हिंदी में कि अगर कोई एंक्रिप्शन के बिना अपलोड करता है तो क्या करना है रिजेक्ट अलाउ नहीं करना है रिजेक्ट करना है तो क्या करना है अफेक्ट मीन्स डिनाई सबके लिए क्या एक्शन क्या ले रहा है वो एस पे क्या कौन सा एक्शन ले रहा है 
फोटो ऑब्जेक्ट राइट अपलोड कर रहा है फाइल या डिलीट कर रहा है फोटो ऑब्जेक्ट कर रहा है ठीक है कहां पे ये बकेट का एयर डालना है आपको अपने सो so, मेरी बकेट का एयर क्या है अभी अगर आप यहां पे जाओगे यहां पे बकेट प्रॉपर्टी पे जाओ बकेट एयर मिलेगा कॉपी करो ये सो so, यहां पे अपने बकेट का एयर डाल देना है ठीक है नीचे भी ऐसा ही है नीचे पे आते हैं ठीक है मेरे बकेट के अंदर कुछ भी वो डाल रहा है एनीथिंग इज अपलोडिंग वो रिजेक्ट होना चाहिए सब कुछ रिजेक्ट होना चाहिए या विदाउट एनक्रिप्शन वाली फाइल रिजेक्ट होनी चाहिए फोटो ऑब्जेक्ट मतलब अपलोड सारा अपलोड रिजेक्ट होना चाहिए या स्पेसिफिक कंडीशन आई एम सेइंग ना कि कब जब एनक्रिप्शन नहीं हो सो कंडीशन स्ट्रिंग नॉट इक्वल टू एक्स एमेजॉन सर्वर्स एंड एनक्रिप्शन ए ई टू फिफ्टी सिक्स मैंने कहा था एक पैरामीटर जाता है हेडर में हेडर में एक पैरामीटर जाता है अगर ये पैरामीटर नहीं आ रहा मतलब यूजर ने एनक्रिप्शन नहीं अनेबल किया अपलोड करते हुए राइट अगर ये पैरामीटर नहीं है इफ दिस पैरामीटर इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन द हेडर व्हाट यू द एक्शन यू हैव टू डू डिनाय यू हैव टू डिनाय द रूल तो अगर मैं खाली इतना डालता हूं ये वाला तो मतलब एसएससी एस3 ही होगा अनेबल तो मैं आपको करके दिखाता हूं कॉपी दिस परमिशन ओके एंड पेस्टेड इन योर बकेट गो टू योर बकेट एंड एडिट हियर एंड पेस्ट एंड आई एम रिमूविंग द सेकंड परमिशन दिस इज द फर्स्ट परमिशन यहां से लेके यहां तक ये सेकंड पार्ट में बताता हूं सेकंड पार्ट क्या क्या है बट अभी के लिए रिमूव कर दो ओके एंड इफ यू फाइंड थिंग एनीथिंग इज एवरीथिंग इज सीम्स गुड जस्ट सेव ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सी मैंने एक पॉलिसी बनाई है वापस समझाता हूं अगर सही समझ आए एक पॉलिसी बनाया जहां पे ये बोला है कि मेरी ये बकेट है बकेट का नाम लिखना है यहां पे पॉलिसी में लिखा हुआ है आपके एयर रन डालना है आपको यहां पे अपने बकेट का पूरा ठीक है और डिनाई कर रहा हूं मैं व्हाट आई एम डिनाइंग पुट ऑब्जेक्ट पुट ऑब्जेक्ट मतलब अपलोड अपलोड में कब सारा या लिमिटेड कंडीशन है कि अगर ये पैरामीटर नहीं आता हेडर में एक्स एमेजॉन सर्वर साइड एनक्रिप्शन एएस एएस किसके लिए था एएस किसके लिए था एसएससी एस3 अगर यूजर एसएससी एस3 नहीं डालता तो ब्लॉक कर दो तो ब्लॉक कर दो अब देखो मैं ऑब्जेक्ट अपलोड करता हूं ठीक है मैं एनक्रिप्शन नहीं डाल रहा कोई सा भी फाइल अपलोड कर दो मैं एनक्रिप्शन नहीं डाल रहा ठीक है डिफॉल्ट एनक्रिप्शन ले रहा है वो देखते क्या होता है देखो मैंने एनक्रिप्शन नहीं डाला मतलब वो बकेट की एनक्रिप्शन लेने भी नहीं जा पाया उसको आगे एक्सेस देना है पहले मुझे एक्सेस हो रहा था ना अपलोड मेरी रिक्वेस्ट के अंदर था क्या जब मैं अपलोड कर रहा था जब एनक्रिप्शन था क्या मैंने बताया कि कौन सा एनक्रिप्शन से कर नहीं इससे क्या हो गया इससे अब वो ब्लॉक कर रहा है अब मैं प्रॉपर्टी में जाऊंगा अब जब तक मैं बताऊंगा नहीं उसको कि एस 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 थ्री ले जब तक अपलोड नहीं होगा अपलोड हो गया दैट मीन्स अगर बंदा बिना एनक्रिप्शन के अपलोड कर रहा है और वो भी एस एस सी एस थ्री वो भी एस एस सी एस थ्री ये वाला क्योंकि मैंने इक्वल टू ये बोला है तो नहीं तो अपलोड नहीं होगा डेटा समझ आया वापस से दिखाता हूँ अगर मैं मैंने बकेट पॉलिसी में डाल दिया बकेट पॉलिसी में क्या बोला है कि अगर बंदा अपलोड कर रहा है इफ एनी बडीज अपलोडिंग फाइल इन एस थ्री विदाउट एनक्रिप्शन and that to ssc s3 block it don't upload the data okay click on upload and check it if this policy is working or not i am not specifying any any property that means no encryption from my side while uploading it's blocked now you will say sir bucket ka policy to hai na bucket mein to encryption hai na 
बकेट का इनक्रिप्शन बाद में लगता है आपने अपलोड किया उसके बाद बकेट पे जो इनक्रिप्शन है वो ऑब्जेक्ट पे इम्प्लीमेंट होगा पर ये अपलोड ही नहीं करने दे रहा मैं मैं तो अपलोड के टाइम पे ब्लॉक कर रहा हूँ बकेट प्रॉपर्टी कब लगेगी जब ऑब्जेक्ट अपलोड हो जाएगा एग्री बट मैं तो अपलोड होने से पहले ही डिनाई कर रहा हूँ कि मैं बोला कि अपलोड ही मत कर भाई Got it? This is how you, in your company you can block the unwanted files without encryption, which are not encrypted. अब एक और मैं encryption करता हूँ। चलो, upload किया, properties में गए, और मैं उसको KMS बोलता हूँ। हमने ये वाला बोला था SSC S3, let's try with KMS. KMS होगा क्या? इसको click करते हैं। KMS होगा क्या? KMS को allow करेगा क्या? अपलोड करते हैं नहीं वाई मैंने बोला है एस थ्री मैंने बोला है एस एस सी एस थ्री ओनली एस थ्री इज अलाउड इन द प्रॉपर्टी परमिशन में क्या बोला है एस तो उसमें सिर्फ आप इस टाइप के इंक्रिप्शन ही अलाउ कर सकते हो एस थ्री इंक्रिप्शन दैट्स इट अगर इसको एडिट करके मैं ये लिख देता हूँ ए डब्ल्यू एस के एम एस That means KMS will allow only KMS will allow. So let me show you. Go to the upload. पहले मैं बिना encryption के upload करने की कोशिश करता हूँ. Fail. Good. अभी मैं S3 encryption enable करता हूँ. यहाँ पे गया permission. This one, override this one, which is free for me. SSCS3 is free for me. Let me try to upload with this thing. Access deny. Why? Because you have enabled KMS. So I KMS ke through karta hu. Koi bhi file lo, upload karo. Specify encryption, override KMS, or abhi as की है अमेज़न वाली यूज़ कर लो अपलोड हो गया तो आपने केमेस बता दिया दो यो यूज़िंग द अमेज़न की बट केमेस एनक्रिप्शन हो रहा है क्लियर बट आप बोल रहे हो कि सर कोई सा भी एनक्रिप्शन करो ये ये क्यों बोल रहे हो कि केमेस थ्री हो या केमेस हो सो व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन जस्ट रिप्लेस दिस अब इन दोनों में फर्क क्या है अगर आप स्पेसिफाई बोल रहे हो या नीचे वाले में क्या है ट्रू कर दो बस इसको हटा दो और यहाँ पे ट्रू लिख दो दैट्स इट दैट मीन्स कोई सी भी टाइप का इंक्रिप्शन आधा के एम एस और एस थ्री सेव ऑल इंक्रिप्शन होना चाहिए बस सो लेट्स टेस्टेड अपलोड अ फाइल here click here and click upload any file so I'm not specifying any encryption by default there could no encryption from my side upload karo to kya hoga access deny if I'm uploading with s3 hoga is bar go to the property encrypted override s3 SSC S3 upload hmm? it failed let me check uh, one two without quotes
this is a policy generator you can i i'm going to show you how you can use this just wait a minute uh, okay the policy which i have created i created by this only Okay, string. I have to change this one. Okay, my bad. Okay, मैंने यहाँ पे ये चेंज नहीं किया था. गोचा. So let's me try to upload a file once more without encryption. Fail with SC. SSCS3 go to encryption click on override SSCS3 upload done file got uploaded now let's try with KMS so specify override KMS and specify the key which is there in your account that's it ओके मैं केएमएस बोल रहा हूँ उसको केएमएस की इट गोट अपलोडेड सो विदाउट एनक्रिप्शन विदाउट एनी एनक्रिप्शन द फाइल विल नॉट अपलोडेड यूजिंग बकेट पॉलिसी ओके हियर आई हैव पास नल इफ यू वांट टू स्पेसिफाई द कंडीशन स्ट्रिंग इक्वल टू ओके सो दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट पॉलिसी दिस इज़ सेकंड पॉल you can pass the complete one if you want <coughs> question this is all about your encryption you can go and try your assignment on encryption this is your assignment on encryption let me know if you have any questions on encryption So I'm stopping here. Please let me know if you have any questions.